I think we must hear from Mr Smith. Henry Smith. And I'm very grateful, uh, Mr Speaker, for you affording me a few moments uh, to contribute to this debate. Uh, we've just heard uh, from the right on uh, member, the uh, member for uh, Birmingham, Erdington, how Brexiteers are somehow wide-eyed. Uh, well, I like to think uh, that my constituents, and indeed I am blessed in Crawley with them uh, being uh, very sensible in their approach, and they voted uh, 58% uh, to leave the European Union, uh, clearly with the message that we'd be, using the custom, we'd be leaving the customs union and the single market as well uh, in June 2016. The Right Honourable Gentleman talks about wide-eyed Brexiteers. Uh, but my constituents are wide-eyed with the possibilities of what global Britain can mean, no longer being just tied uh, to the single market and the customs union uh, of uh, the EU. Uh, this country has a fantastic global heritage and, uh, more than any other country in the world, has unique international links. Uh, we are perfectly placed to be a bridge uh, between uh, the rest of the world and our proximity to Europe using those relations that we have. And I think that's why the people of Crawley, by majority, voted to leave the European Union. Uh, they are not insular in uh, the way they view uh, the world. Uh, they are employed uh, by international companies who uh, have located in my constituency, from uh, Gatwick Airport uh, to medical technology companies, financial services companies, uh, and uh, many others. And they see uh, the global possibilities of free trade. And we can't realise those global free trade opportunities if we remain locked inside the customs union. We can only negotiate uh, those international deals with the Commonwealth, uh, with many other countries around the world, with the United States, if we are outside of the European customs union and also achieve, I believe, a comprehensive agreement on trade with the European Union as well. We're talking about negotiations. I know of no business, and I certainly didn't when I ran a business, reveal my negotiating hand uh, when uh, seeking uh, to do uh, an agreement. I know of no other country that would, that would reveal their negotiating strategy uh, in the international uh, forum. And if I can relate it to the uh, official opposition, I know of no trade union that would reveal yeah. their negotiating hand uh, ahead of uh, seeking a deal on behalf of their members. So this motion, Mr Speaker, is a nonsense, and we should vote it down this evening. Yeah.